Hello friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Des and today I want to give you a tour of my new pencil case. Before we get into the pen case tour, I quickly want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. We have recently hit 300 subscribers, which is just incredible. I'm so blown away. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here with me and hanging out with me while we talk about books and stationery. So if you saw my Hobonichi 2024 planners unboxing, this might look familiar. I recently got this with my planner purchase for next year. This is the Hobonichi drawer pouch and I have already started using it as my pen case. And I'm absolutely loving it so far. And I've kind of figured out how I like to have things organized in here and what things I like to keep with me. So this is what the outside looks like. It has like a nice wrist strap. And as you can see, it can get quite chonky. <laughs> I was really impressed with how much this pencil case can grow and how much you can fit in here because it's really quite small. The back has like this little slip pocket here. You could put paper or stickers or something like that back here. I don't have anything in this right now. Yeah, I will say the fabric of this one is just like a cotton, but it does collect dust and fuzzies like crazy. I, <laughs> I lint rolled this <laughs> right before turning this video on. And I'm probably going to lint roll this somewhat frequently because it collects like dust and dog hair and things like that like crazy. I know some of the other ones are not fabric like this and I don't know how those are with like dust and fuzzies. <laughs> lint rolling it actually helped a ton and it looks like way nicer now. So yeah, but let's get inside the pen case. So this is what the inside looks like. This is kind of my essentials pen case. I have other things that I bring with me. Um, I have this pen case. This is my old pen case and it unzips to expand quite a bit. And I really like this pencil case, but it was just quite big. <laughs> um, and I, I do still use this one when I'm when I'm wanting to carry more things and I keep a lot of like my art supplies in here. So I still use this one sometimes as well. But I like how small this one is and I like that I just keep just the things that I absolutely need with me. So in here are all of the things that I use pretty much on a daily basis. Let's start with this right hand side. There's this zippered pouch and what I keep in here is a glue tape. I really love this Elmer's glue one. I find that the refills are really easy for me to find at my local craft stores. So I've used this specific one for probably like three or four years I've had this one and I just buy refills whenever I need them and I love this thing. It's lasted so long. So keep that in there. Oh look, dog hair. <laughs> I keep this pair of scissors in here. These scissors are also incredibly old. These are probably way older than that glue tape. Um, they're super dull now, but they're what I have. I do want to get some of the pen style scissors that have like a cap on them because I have noticed that this catches on this mesh a little bit and has like started to make a little bit of a hole in here. I don't know if you can see it, but I really don't want to get a hole in this, so that's probably my next stationary purchase is scissors that don't have a blade out like that. But I do use these all the time. And then I also keep a roll of washi tape in here. I switch this out whenever I feel like it. And honestly, don't necessarily need to keep a whole roll in here, but there was extra room in here. So I thought, why not just put a whole roll of washi tape in there? And now that I've removed some of those things, you can probably see that there are pen loops built into this zipper pouch on this pen case. And I do use those to keep a pencil. This is just a classic mechanical pencil. 
and I also keep a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. I think this is the hard tip one. Yeah, so I keep those in there as well. And that's all I keep in, in this zippered part. But I was actually really surprised with how much stuff fits into this because like this glue tape and that washi tape are quite big. Okay, and then on the left hand side here, I've actually squeezed a ton of things in. First, I'll start right here. This is a pair of tweezers. I've had these for a super long time as well. I think I got them at Claire's <laughs> like a million years ago. Uh, but I use these all the time for like placing stickers and things and peeling my photos for my photo printer, the sticker paper off the back because it can be a pain. So I use these all the time to place stickers in my journal. And then down here I have some page flags. These are just the post-it note brand ones um, and I like to have these in here because I will sometimes note down things that I want to write on a page in my commonplace book or like in the back notes of my planner or if I wanted to annotate a book that I'm reading. And so yeah, I like to have these available. And then also down here I have two washi tape samples that I made. These are just cardstock paper that I had laying around that from other things and I have a paper puncher that does this shape and so I punch out a ton of these. I have lots of these. I make them all the time for washi tapes because they're really easy to take around with you and so I just put some of my neutral washi tapes on here and I keep these in here all the time. So those are really nice to have. And then in this pocket I have a Kitta tape. So these are like washi tape as well but they're pre-cut and they have like a sticky like a back that you pull off like stickers like sticker paper and I love just how flat these are I also got these in my Hobonichi order and I think that they're really cool I think it's neat how flat they are so you can have all of those tapes on the go and then here I have an entire pad of sticky notes <laughs> Uh, this is probably excessive. I could probably carry less of these and maybe there would be less bulk in my pencil case. Maybe I will take like half of these off. But um, yeah, I, I like these craft paper sticky notes. I think I just ordered a ton of them online and I have a bunch of white ones as well. But I think these are just really handy to have. And then... Oh, one more thing that's not a pen back here that's hiding is my ruler. <laughs> um, also had this for a super long time. I like to use it to draw lines and stuff in my commonplace book or in my planner. And I think it's just really handy to have in here. Okay, and then everything that else that's left are pens. So I will do these two first. This one is the... Uni Jetstream. This comes with the Hobonichi orders when you order directly from Hobonichi. So this was my freebie pen for 2024. It says Hobonichi Techo 2024 on it right there. I just really love these colors and I honestly love having this three color pen. I use this all the time in my commonplace book because I will use the blue and the red to make things stand out more against all the black writing. So yeah, I really love this. This goes everywhere with me. And then another pen that I have in here, this is the Uniball 1. This is a 0 0.5 and it's not black. It's the color is cappuccino brown. And I also like to use this in like my planner and my commonplace book just to have something that stands out a little bit more. And I just really love that color. Okay, and the rest that are in here are my fountain pens. So I will start with these down here. This was like one of my very first fountain pens. This is the Kofleco Sport in Blush Pattaya, I believe is what it's called. And it's like the fro one of the frosted colors. And so it's this teeny little pen and you unscrew it and post it onto the back and you have a full, well, it's still little, but a full size writing pen. This is a fine nib, and I absolutely love this pen. This has been one of the easiest pens that I've had, and I super duper suggest Coveco Sports for beginners in fountain pens. 
I love this thing. It's, it's great. It's been a really easy pen for me. And then my other Kaweco Sport is one of the Kaweco collection. So it was a limited, I, they're not hard to find. You can still get these, but I think it was a more limited release. Um, gosh, a couple of years ago, this is the Iridescent Pearl. And I just absolutely love this. When I saw this, I just knew I had to have this pen. And I got this one in a medium nib. And this one has also been a really awesome pen. I love this pen and I really actually really like the medium nib. I don't find that it's too thick for me. I quite like it. And then back here we'll go to this one next. This is also a Kaweco, but this is a Kaweco student. I got this pen on a trip to Amsterdam um, a few months ago and it was my first time buying a fountain pen actually in person, so it was really special. And this is the Student 20s Jazz. And this is a little bit of a nicer pen than the Kaweco Sports. So this one looks like this. And I just, I think this pen is so gorgeous. I have had a little bit of trouble with some inks in this pen, so I might need to adjust the nib a little bit and try and get it to write a little bit wetter. This is also a fine nib. And I just, I think this pen is gorgeous and I really like the weight of it. And I find that this grip section right here is really comfortable for how I hold a pen. And I hold pens in, I feel like kind of a weird way. Um, well, my nails are long right now, so I hold it a little bit more normal. But when my nails are short, I have a weird grip on pens. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm sure you'll notice it in more of my videos. But yeah, I love this pen. I think it's so pretty. And then the last three back here are all Lamy Safaris. So we'll start here with this black one. I got this one for my husband and he ended up not really loving it. So he gave it back to me, which is fine with me. This is the Lamy Safari in black. This one currently has a fine nib on it. It may have had a different nib at some point and I swapped it, I can't remember. But I love this pen. It honestly really impresses me because I put a diamine shimmering ink in here in a fine nib and it writes beautifully and it never clogs. I, I'm i just really impressed with it. I think it's a, a combination of the Diamine ink having a really fine shimmer, but I was just, I, yeah, I'm really impressed with this pen and I find it quite comfortable to write with as well. I like this extended grip section here and it kind of forces me to have a normal person grip, which is really good for my hands and wrists. So that's my Lamy Safari in black. This is another Lamy Safari. This one is the cream color and it is just like this gorgeous matte cream color. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I absolutely had to have this pen. It's so pretty and so minimal and sleek. Yeah, I, I just really love this pen. This one has an extra fine nib. And I also find that that's, it's not terribly fine. I don't think Lamy's have uh, very fine nibs, but I do really like this pen. And yeah, oh, man, that color is just so good. It gets me every time. <laughs> and then my last fountain pen is the Lamy Safari in spring green. Now this one, I'm sure you can tell, like I tend to like kind of more pastels and neutral colors. So this one was a little bit of a surprise. When I saw this, the, they released three spring colors. There was a blue, a pink, and this green. And all of those colors are so pretty. And I think everyone expected me to get the pink <laughs> um, because I love pink. But this green is kind of, I don't know. You know how everyone's kind of obsessed with chartreuse lately in that kind of like bright green? This was kind of that for me and I used to really love green when I was younger and I think it's kind of coming back to me and I, I yeah, I, I'm really glad I got this. This one has a medium nib on it. This one writes quite wet. I think this one writes a good bit wetter than my Kaweco Sport medium, but it's kind of fun. If I really want to see what properties an ink has, like if there's one with a lot of shimmer or sheen 
or shading to it, I will put it in this pen and it's really fun to see what it does. But sometimes this pen bleeds through papers, so it does write quite wet, but I still, oh yeah, I still love it. And so that's actually everything that I keep in this pen case. It's not a ton, but I find that when I have too much stuff in my pen case, I get really overwhelmed and then I don't use most of it um, or I get too overwhelmed and I won't use anything because it stresses me out. Um, so I think that this is a really awesome idea and I'm really glad I experimented with this because I love this pen case. I take this everywhere with me and it has all of my everyday things in it and I find that I use my fountain pens way more consistently now too when they're just in this accessible pen case um, that's easy to take with me. Yeah, and I think that I will have this for a very long time. I'm really excited about it and I love it so much. I hope this is a fun video. I know it's probably going to be on the shorter side, which is which is fine. I hope that you enjoy that. And if you would like to see what I have inked in my fountain pens, let me know. I've been thinking about doing like a currently inked video. I don't change the inks in my pens every month or anything like that. I just change them once they start to run out. And it, sometimes it takes me a few months to get through ink or I'll just re-ink certain pens with the same <laughs> inks over and over again. But I think I could do like a currently inked once in a while because I do like to experiment with ink samples from time to time. So if that's something that you'd like to see, definitely let me know. Yeah, again, thank you so much for 300 subscribers. That's incredible. I am so excited and I'm so happy to talk to you all about all of the hobbies that I have. I have a lot. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I would love if you left me a comment and tell me what your favorite thing to keep in your pencil case is. And if you don't know what to say, go ahead and leave me some fall emojis, leave me some leaves and some pumpkins. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!